Okay, so welcome to my second let's play, um, the Trove Alpha. Um, I've spent about 10 minutes r running around trying to find these health potions, and I really hope that one of these has a health pot in, because I want to show off the new animation. Um, oh my god, so I've spent about 10 minutes running around trying to find some mushrooms to get some health pots, and if none of these contain them, then I'm going to have to stop recording. There we go. Right. There is one problem right now. Um, health pots are really hard to come by. You've got to either find those mushrooms or find the mushroomy mobs. And you've got to kill them. And the drop rates aren't great. And other than that, there's no other way of getting them. So I've got one health potion to try and show you the animation for. So let's hope I don't fuck up on that. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the new features that they've put in. Um, one thing, one thing that they have put in is, uh, there we go, another one, is um, when you destroy a block, um, use the destroy block button like that, it uses up energy now, so you can see my energy going down to destroy blocks. That's kind of an, uh, a measure for anti-griefing. Uh, they've also reduced the amount of bombs that have been dropped by mobs, or by a lot. So that really does help the anti-griefing. You see there, that one dropped one, before it might drop five, six, so people had a massive like surplus of bombs which they were just using to go around grief and stuff because I guess it's fun isn't it um, we've also got a new feature to show who's online if you slash who it'll show you who's online I'll try it again because I'm sure there's more people than that there we go it shows everyone that's online and I don't know if that's in the global chat or if I just see that because if that's in the global chat then I'm guessing that's going to piss some people off um, so yeah, the combat is m much more difficult now um, with the lack of bombs or the right amount of bombs, should I say? I use one bomb to low normally and uh, try and kill without using it. Um, the combat's still not really that, really that difficult, but because you don't have much health potions, you can get killed off pretty easily. Um, another kind of slight problem I've got at the moment is the health regeneration. It is ridiculously slow. I mean I think this should implement something kind of like what was in Guild Wars 1, if you ever played that where when you're out of combat your health regen increases uh, over time so if you're out of combat for a minute your health will regen pretty much instantly um, because right now I'm having to stand around waiting um, for my health to regen. This is a cool new mob that they've put in. It's like the dishwasher thing on the um, snow biome except it's all steampunky which I think is really cool, I love steampunk style um, it looks really great, they're difficult though, they've quite, got quite a lot of health um, another thing that they've put in in their latest patch is depending on which biome you're in the mobs will do more damage and be more difficult generally so this one's going to be a bit of a, oh it's dead um, I'm sorry. I swear it's health bar was nearly full a second ago um, because they've wiped the servers I've got not much gear so I need to gear up, that is crap, why am I using that? Um, I need something more physical damage, I'm sure I had something better earlier. Um, they've also fixed the thing where if you drop uh, an item like that, your invent will automatically update. I'm not sure what will happen if your invent gets over full, because before it didn't like that, but I guess it's much easier to clean it out now. I'll just find a better weapon to equip. I'm sure I had one a second ago. Um, Right, I'll just go with this for now then. Um, what else do I need to show off? Um, they've put a patch on, haven't they, with all the new stuff. I've showed you the slash who feature. Um, they've made lootables basically work. When you loot them, they disappear like that rather than just staying there and not being able to be looted by anyone else, which is kind of misleading. Um, they've got rid of the... Looking at my phone, getting the uh, Reddit post on. Um, they've got rid of the thing that made it so you could, couldn't use the block ability because it broke as soon as you tried to use it or tried to drag it onto your bar, um, which was annoying. Um, it made it difficult to, well, impossible to block if you dragged it out of your inventory. So they've got rid of that for now. I don't know if that's a permanent thing or what, but um, hopefully not. I'd like to be able to block. Because right now combat is kind of just jump around to try not to get hit. Um, before I go off, I'm going to die so I can show you a really cool build by the Spawn. Um, it was built by Grindor, 
I think this is outside. Um, I'm sure it's already on the Reddit, but for anyone that's not seen it, I'll show it off. Um, one other thing is I will be giving away an alpha key um, after this video. Just leave a comment saying why you should get an alpha key, one feature that you'd like to see in the game that isn't already been uh, rolled out at some point, and you have to be subbed to my channel to win. Uh, did I show you the pot animation? I don't think I did. I'm going to have to show you that. Um, I'm trying to find this castle right now. I can't remember quite where it is. I think it's this way. I'm not sure. It's nice and obvious though. Um, but yeah, the game's still running smooth. I've not had any, any lag issues at all, whereas I did towards the start. So I think they must have done something there because there's more people playing and less lag. So they've definitely improve the service in some in some way. Here we go, I'll show you the animation for the pot. By a guy that gives you the pot. Um, so let me again. Right, so these guys drop quite a few potions, but they are quite rare. Now this is the potion animation. Right. So right there. Um so leave a comment saying why you think you should get an alpha key, um, if you've been waiting a long time, um, if you've got some features that you want to put in, or want to suggest to put in, if you've got, you know, good ideas, and you will be active on the Reddit and keep communicating with the devs. Here's the animation one more time. A little gulp. Um, can't find that castle, but there's a video going up for it soon, so I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more Let's Plays. I'm probably going to do one pretty much every day. Um, here's the castle. I'll give you a quick, quick tour. Um, so yeah, Alpha Key going out today, slash whenever this video goes up. And comment, same thing as last time, subscribe to the channel, say why you should have a key, one feature, and I'll send the key your way. I've got three left to give out, maybe two depending if my brother wants one but he's a bit of a Mi uh, Minecraft fanboy so I'm not sure if he'll even play it. Uh, but this is the castle, um, it's great, it's a really good build and it's not been griefed that much. They've said that it's been griefed once but not badly. Um, I guess the anti-grief features and the lack of bombs has actually worked so that's really good by the devs. I'm, ser I'm seriously glad that they... okay that's not good. Um, I'm glad that they've reduced the bomb rate because it does mean that griefs have got less ammunition. Um, I want to get away from that thing because I will end up breaking their castle. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Oops, there he is. Um, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment saying why you want a key and why you should get a key. Um, hopefully I pick you and hopefully you get to play the game. Um, see you later then. Bye.